Many journals and editors nowadays are uh, feeling a little disillusioned with p-values and um, alpha levels uh, represented by those p-values. And so they're looking for the effect sizes instead. And we can assess these via the f-square, which is actually automatically calculated in Smart PLS. So over to Smart PLS, let's say we have some awesome model like this. All we have to do to find the effect sizes is hit Calculate, PLS Algorithm, and then set it up. Right now I just want a path analysis. Everything else I'm going to leave as default. Start the calculation. And if you click over here to uh, F-square and click on the F-square tab, it'll show you a nice little visual for this. Um, anything over 0.15 is considered a good enough effect, a moderate effect. Anything less than 0.1 is considered a small effect. Anything over 0.3 is considered a very large effect. Um, so we see here we have only two effects that are uh, considered to be large enough. These are CSE to innovativeness and innovativeness to skill acquisition. Well, if I go look at my model, innovativeness to skill acquisition, Ah, yep, that's a fairly large effect. At least the regression weight here is large. And we, if we look at the F-square, it shows it's also large. Uh, the CSE to innovativeness was our largest effect. Now, if we go look at these other values, uh, 0 0.067, negative 0 0.077, we can see the regression weight is small. And so likely they're not big effects, and, and we observed that. But what about this one? Negative 0.296 seems like a pretty big uh pretty big regression weight, and I bet statistically it has a good p-value. Well, to do this, let's go look at the p-values for the coefficient right here. Uh, to do that, we need to go to calculate, and we're going to do some bootstrapping, and I'm just going to accept the defaults, start report, or start calculation, let it run, here's the report, and we were looking at, what was it? It was CSE to anxiety. Is it significant? CSE to anxiety? Heck yes, that p-value is so low. It's less than 0 0.001. But we learn from our effect sizes right here, f-square, that even though it is a statistically significant effect, the effect is not meaningful. It is not a big effect, CSE to anxiety. Um, it is less than the 0.15 threshold. In fact, it's less than 0.1. If we were to go and look at the R square, not showing now, but if I go back and do a PLS algorithm, run it real quick, we'll see that the R square on this is actually very low, 0 0.088. So that's a really low R square. So even though we have a statistically significant coefficient, we're not meaningfully explaining any variance in anxiety. And so that's what you get by looking at the F square, the effect sizes you get to see whether your significant effect is actually a meaningful effect. Hope that helps.